proportion this module will explain the basics of proportion one day mohan went to the market to buy pens there were two shops which had pens one shop offered him 10 pens for rupees 50 and the other 12 pens for rupees 60 can you tell from which shop should mohan buy the pens we can see the ratio of the money for both the shops is 50 is to 60 which is 5 is to 6 similarly the ratio of number of pens is 10 is to 12 which is equal to 5 is to 6 here we see that both the ratios are equal so both the shops are offering the same deal if two ratios are equal we say that they are in proportion and use the symbol double colon or equal to symbol to equate the two ratios If the two ratios are not equal then they are not in proportion. If 3 is to 4 is equal to 6 is to 8 then the proportion is expressed as shown here. Now the terms that are in extreme right and left are called extremes. Here 3 and 8 are extremes. The terms that occur in the middle are called means. Here 4 and 6 are means there is a very important property the means and extremes follow the product of means is equal to product of extremes so 3 multiplied by 8 is equal to 4 multiplied by 6 example are the ratios 20 is to 30 and 40 is to 45 in proportion explanation the two ratios will be in proportion if the product of means is equal to product of extremes here the product of means is not equal to product of extremes so these ratios are not in proportion example if two men can complete 20 tasks in a week how many such tasks will five men complete in a week explanation we have the proportion as shown here now the product of extremes is equal to product of means 2 multiplied by x is equal to 5 multiplied by 20 x is equal to 50 tasks 